Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a sweet, sweet find that I got from Amazon and this thing is really, really cool. It has three blades and I know you're like, okay, all right, three blades, really? That's what I was thinking until I got it in hand and that's why I'm gonna show it to you. Comes with a neat little pouch box, comes with a little thingy and a whatchamacallit. We'll show you that here in just a second. But this thing is, it far exceeded what I thought it could possibly be. I was like, okay, sounds kind of gimmicky, but it's actually very, very cool. This is the Olatans T024. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Yeah, that is titanium. It does have a yellow G10 backspacer. You know, I'm kind of back and forth about the color of the yellow, but it does kind of make it look a little crispy. And you can always color that whatever you want. You could actually probably use a, a magic marker to make it blacker or darker if you wanted to. But here's this side, super clean looking. There's your thumb studs, and you'll see where these come into play here in just a second. And it's a frame lock. It has a steel lock bar insert, a very nice pocket clip. It has flat screws so they don't grab on your pocket. It's easy in and out of the pocket, and you do have a spot for your lanyard. Now, the pocket clip is not reversible, so that would be one little nitpick. Now, you want to see the first blade? This is one of three. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> oh, yeah. This thing is, I'm telling you what. When I saw it, I was like, eh, yeah, it's probably not going to be very secure. It's not going to be tight. It's not going to be centered. It's gimmicky. It is really not. I can tell you firsthand, I've changed. I've put the different blades on it. I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. But here's a look up top. This is what holds it in. It's easy to unscrew. You can finger tighten it or you can use, it comes with a T, uh, I think it's a T6 or a T8. Another thing that is very cool, it has 9CR18 MOV for all three blades. And now look at this. It has good lockup and of course it is a frame lock. The action is drop shutty. It is as smooth as you could ever want on a knife. I did take it apart and I think I'll probably put a picture up here on the screen for you to see what it looks like on the inside. You do not have to take the pivot apart to put the other blade in. It has steel ball bearings and it is that smooth. Now overall, this bad boy from tip to tip is eight inches long. It has steel bearings in those pivot. Like I said, your cutting length is 3.06 inches. And this weighs 4.35 ounces. So it's right there in the four ounce range. It is very slicey, has a nice flat grind coming from all the way right about right up there, right up close to the top. The top is not, the edges aren't shop. shop they're not shop. They're not shop, Captain. They're not sharp to the touch. They're very smooth. And look at this. It's absolutely rock solid. It doesn't move left to right or up or down. It doesn't move at all. You have the good lockup and it's centered. They did an excellent, excellent job on the sharpening from the factory. It is super sharp. Now I'll tell you right, that, right now, you can also, I've noticed, or I checked them out, they also sell, you could get knives like this with replaceable scalpels of different lengths that come with like a 10 pack. You could get a 40 pack of scalpel blades and always have a sharp one. I'll put a picture of that up on the screen so you can check that out as well. But as far as the, the sharpening, it is great from the factory. Here's your size comparison with the QSP Penguin. Everyone should have a penguin, right? And by the way, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you've just found the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you get notified when I have new content, which is almost every single day. You definitely want to check it out. A bunch of cool stuff. And I keep you up to date on what new knives are coming out. Now, I know you want to see the other two blades, which are equally as cool as the first one. It would help if I didn't drop the other one on the floor, but it has a serrated blade, which is, whoo, man, is it ultra, ultra sharp. Check that out. So you can use this bad boy. If, that's the thing about this knife that I think is really cool is if you have different uses where you wish you had a serrated blade or you wish you had a drop point or you wish you had a sheep's foot, this gives you all three options. Check that out. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Now I'll show you how to change the blade and it is super easy. This is a T8 that comes with it. So these are T8s. Now I think I finger tightened it. There we go. So let's see, I can just undo one side like this, undo the left side and then take the blade off. And then if you like drop point, if that's your uh, favorite, put the drop point on there and screw it on, tighten it down. 
Let's uh, do this uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Tighten it down. And it's rock solid. I mean, there is no wiggle. That's what I thought that would be the problem. I thought that it would be not solid at all. It would be wiggly. But look at that. Now you have a drop point. And check this out. Big old forward choil area. You have a little bit of room for sharpening. But look at that. You can choke up. If your hands, if you have large size hands like I do, you have plenty of room. If you have extra large hands, you're still good to go with this knife. And I love how you can... Oh, it has, it has a really good grip, no hot spots at all. It's super clean. And these, uh, I checked right before I made this video and they're on sale on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description and in the comments if you wanna go look at it and check it out for yourself. But it is that easy to use. That that's what I thought was so cool about this knife. I'm very impressed with it and we'll take this blade off and just for the heck of it, if you uh, wanna do some sawing action, which I think is really cool. So this is, is multi-purpose and whatever you need, like if you have tasks and you're doing a lot of cutting and stuff like that, then let me see. Okay. It tightens better if I use both sides and then it tightens down very nice. So this is the serrated blade. Check that out. You could, you could take this with you if you're going to the steakhouse. I will tell you this, that it will tighten down further than I can do with my fingers if I use the little wrench. So if you have like one of the little uh, keychain bits like I have, I think I might have it in the description of the video to make sure that it's absolutely tight, but it is solid. It doesn't move. There's no wiggle whatsoever. And this thing is, oh my goodness, the action. Now I didn't show you a whole lot of the action. The thumb studs are kind of oversized and I get it because of their use, but you can reverse flick it. You can flick it normal with your thumb. It is, oh man, it is droppy shut. It has kind of that hydraulic feel to it. It is super smooth. These are normally, I think around 70 something. Right now they're 15% off. I checked right before the video, which makes them like around 61 bucks. And I think it's worth it. Definitely for getting three blades with 9CR18 MOV and the feel. Plus it's a frame lock and it's super comfortable. I really like it. I'm curious, what do you all think about it? Have you seen this one and wondered about it? Because that's kind of what I like to do is show you things that I see on there and wonder, is that really good or is it a gimmick or is it not? This no gimmicks found. I like it. I like the quality. I like the feel. I like the sounds of it. I don't have any big nitpicks for what you get. Maybe a little more sharpening, but it's replaceable blades. I mean, holy camoly. I like it. Maybe the only thing would be, uh, I don't need branding on the clip. You know, if we're just going to be nitpicky and maybe inset the clip a little bit, but I mean, that's really nitpicking. So let me know what you think. I'm very curious. And if you don't have an opinion on the knife, tell me what you had for breakfast. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Go check this video out. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the live streams or the chats or the hive stream on Friday night, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.